Hi, welcome to educator.com. In today's lesson, we're going to be wrapping up uh, how to set up the files in the Cartweaver um, and Dreamweaver. We're going to basically just wrap it all up, go back into the content management system, and then I'm going to be listing out the appropriate sizes that you'll be using. So in this, uh, the learning objectives, we're going to just go over specific sizes. I'll basically go back over again where the root folders are, where they're located, and where you need to put them to find them a little bit easier. Um, we'll log back into the content management system, uh, add a, one, about a couple more images, and then we'll refresh it in the browser, see what it looks like. And then finally, just um, I'll give you all the appropriate sizes that you'll need to actually uh, know to set up each file. Okay. So here we, I put together um, just a list of sizes and what the appropriate, uh, what they call them in Cartweaver. So each folder that you will have will pretty much be the, um, the expanded sizes uh, and giving you all the pixel dimensions and then where they're actually located into um, the directory of your files. So let's go right into this here. Uh, the browser, we're going to actually, we're into looking at all the, um, the products right now. So if I, last time when we went through, we, we put some things in and um, I added, added one more here and we're gonna go back through it again to kind of refresh you a little bit more um, on how to put the last of the images in. So you're gonna have to log back into your content management system um, and once you log in, um, remember it was uh, defaulted by admin, admin, um, and then you always wanna remember to change that when you actually go live. You don't want anyone to actually know that password as I expressed before. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, new products. We actually have um, our active products here. I'm gonna put another one in here. Um, and I'm just gonna give it some information. Um, should look all pretty much familiar. Um, boy two. And remember to select the category so that the database knows that which one we actually hit the boys apparel, it'll sort it. Um, here, we'll hit the next button. And let's see, let's put in something very generic. Just remember to put it a long and a short. Um, here is where we're going to put it in, and I'm just going to go through the the thumb image portion, thumbnail portion. Um, it's all relatively the same, um, but we're going to go to here. Actually, we'll go to this one right here. Um, select the image, uh, image set. So we're going to close this window up here, and we're going to finish up the pro finish up. Now we still got to give it the information for the the SKU of your store. Uh, make sure it says yes, and then give it a price point. Um, you know, let's see, let's say three dollars here. Remember, you can set your appropriate stock um, to set what you have. Go ahead and hit add SKU, a new SKU, and then go ahead and make sure remember to hit update product. You don't it's not going to update to the actual uh, database and you won't see it. So they click it, it should be there. So let's go back and refresh and see what this looks like. <clears throat> so if I hit Boys Apparel, so I actually have it right here. Um, definitely you want to give it a better description, but you want to go in and put all your information in, and up, upload it. So that's the appropriate size. What we want to also do is go back into the files and actually show you where they're located again. I, I know I did it once before, but I am going to do it again just to refresh your uh, memory on this. So as you go back into Dreamweaver, we set up the directory here um, into the store and in the CW3 file. Um, remember, it's just short for Cartweaver 3. And we went into the, um, let me close this up here you go into the assets here, and this is where you're gonna have all these files. So this is where I took the names from and I kept them the same, so it'll be a little bit easier to find um, in your directory. And so if you go here and you look, that's kind of what I did here. Um, gave you the store folder, CW3 assets, and then I gave you the folder. So in case you don't know what those mean, that's, that's the directory that you'll follow. And in each folder here, I put in um, the different sizes that I went and resized in Photoshop. So whatever photo editing, um, photo editor you actually have, um, it's, you can use it, it's the same thing, you're just changing sizes so that it, um, 
it shows appropriately when they uh, when the user clicks on um, an actual image okay and that's all I really did one thing you want to do is just leave the actual um, default here uh, this one is called products underscore expanded dot GIF so just leave that there because that's your um, when you don't have an image it, it puts that default image in there for you not not no image available so just keep that I don't don't need to remove that one definitely want to use that one in case you don't have an image at the time um, and that's pretty much the really the the wrap up of it and just understanding that there is um, you can definitely change the sizes to anything you want these are just suggestion sizes that I use um, in when I pulled up the cart weaver uh, sample files I pulled up their default images and then I looked at the sizes they used um, and then that's just what I, I kept it so I kept the pixel um, aspect ratio um, appropriate so that when I just changed it here it just automatically gave it um, the other um, pixel dimension to keep it proportion okay and that's pretty much um, the wrap-up of setting up the files but to remember just you can add as many as you want change all the files ahead of time so that you're just selecting and always remember to update the products and you'll have your uh, database which will be able to uh, show here and show, see all your products so again we have uh, basically what we the four images that we edited in two, two boys and two girls apparel again thank you for watching educator.com